Fashion, fashion, it's Evelina's Fashion Cafe. Woo! Hi guys, it's Evelina here. Welcome to a new episode of the Fashion Cafe. Today I got my coffee. Make sure that you grab your tea or coffee and join me in this wonderful episode. Today's gonna be lots of fun. If there's something I'm good at is getting ready very fast. It's something that I got down to the tea, I can get ready in 10 minutes and I'm out of the door and you might think that it took me probably like an hour to get ready, but no, I'm actually pretty good at that. So we all have those frustrating mornings where you just can't seem to get ready, nothing fits right, none of your outfits look right, um, everything's wrinkled, everything's crazy, you're running out of the door, your whole day's ruined, you don't know what to do. That's of course a very dramatic morning, it's not always that bad, but today I'm just gonna share a couple of my tips of what I do to make life a little bit easier, to kind of, you know, speed things up and just look decent and not have to spend like two hours on it so the number one tip that I'm gonna give you if you just can't wrap your head around what you're gonna wear today just start with styling your outfit around one piece just pick out one piece like is it that white leather skirt that you just bought or is it just a piece that you just recently purchased that you really want to wear so style everything around it sometimes I just kind of pick out like a statement piece that I style uh, the outfit around it sometimes it's a bag sometimes it's a necklace sometimes it's a scarf um, and it's really easy that way so that way you have something to start with so you're not just like staring at 5,000 items in your closet well if you have 5,000 items in your closet then you're pretty lucky but that makes things a lot harder because when you have a lot of choices you don't know what to do so yeah definitely start with something small start with one piece build around build build around it you see how that accent comes out for no reason at all Ugh, I've had a little too much coffee today okay can you handle me I think you can Number two, something that I never do, uh, the only time that I do that is when I know I have a very important event or meeting the next day, I will prepare my outfit from the night before. And I 100% recommend that you do that. I didn't do that like when I was in college and I should have because I would wake up in the morning and I'm late for class and I don't know what to wear and it's the most frustrating thing ever. And my roommate, she would prepare, oh, okay, she was nuts. She would prepare her outfits on Sunday for the entire week. So her closet, had seven outfits laid on a hanger. I'm like, oh my gosh, like that would, I, I don't even know. That's insane. It saved her a lot of time. She was always ready. She was always on time everywhere. I mean, I admire her a lot. If you can do that, that's amazing. I am telling you, it will change your life. I can't, I can only do it for special events, but yeah, prepare your outfits in advance. It will save your life. Number three, uh, take a picture of an outfit that works and save it for later. For example, if you didn't see anybody important that day and you just wore a really nice outfit, you gotta recycle that till you actually put it to good use. I know that sounded really mean, but I think there was a quote, I have a fear of wasting a great outfit on an unimportant day or something like that. So if you wore an outfit that really worked, uh, not that many people saw it that day, and even if a lot of people saw it that day, what the heck, wear whatever you want. So if an outfit worked, take a picture of it, document it even better, post it on Instagram, post it on your blog, post it on your Facebook page. I know Facebook people don't really care, but just do it for yourself. Save it and then on days where you don't know what to wear, just look through your directory of things that you took a picture and be like, ah, I really like that outfit, so I'm just gonna recreate it again, opposed to having to do something entirely new over and over again. Okay, the next thing will save your life. It will literally save your life, because I am a person that irons their clothes, okay? I'm one of those rare people that do that. <laughs> and you might be like, what, Evelina, everybody irons their clothes. No, people don't really iron clothes in America just because there's really good dryers, I guess, and then you fold things and they don't become as wrinkly, or at least, like, most people don't even own an iron, at least not my friends. So, instead of uh, laying out this entire giant board in the morning and trying to, like, iron everything and use your... I'm not even gonna get into that frustration. Get a steamer. Seriously, get a steamer. I got this for $25 at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it on eBay. Uh, it's called My Little Steamer Go Mini. I travel with this, it fits in my suitcase. I actually just pulled it out of my suitcase because I just got back from New York. I'm talking way too fast today. But this thing is incredible. You just uh, fill it up with water to whatever it says, like to the max or to the minimum, and it turns on this uh, magical steam that just wrinklessly and effortlessly makes things magically ironed and wonderful and you don't have to get out a giant board and you don't have to spend time in the morning you just turn the sucker on like do this a couple times over your clothes and you're done and you're wrinkle free you look good you look awesome and you'll feel great you know nobody wants to see a wrinkly person wrinkly person 
wrinkly shirt. I'm sorry about that. So the number five tip is to build your outfit using basics. And let me know if you want me to do a whole video about it, as how to like spice up an outfit, I guess, or how to build your outfit around basics. But the main tip, the one tip that I'm gonna give you today is to start your outfit with basics, as opposed to like trying to go the route where you're uh, really trying to picture like this perfect outfit that has like both a statement piece and an interest and a color and a pop of everything. Just, uh, you know, get some jeans, get a little gray shirt on, get a little blazer and spice it up with a scarf or a necklace, you know, or or go the route of wearing some dark leggings, a long sweater dress and a trench coat, you know, so just do, just, just get something, uh, you know, get your basics on, wear a white tee, get a little blazer on, get a little jean jacket on and add a statement necklace you know it's just it's just really easy to kind of start boring and then finish it off with a pop of glam so that's probably the easiest way to to get your outfit going so I really hope that this helped I hope that those tips were somewhat helpful I'm sorry I'm just sort of all over the place today I've had way too much coffee I'm way too excited about everything um, I hope that you enjoyed this outfit please give it a thumbs up uh, leave me down below any kind of request that you have for fashion cafe and also let me know how do you speed up the process of getting ready in the morning do you ever get frustrated of getting ready in the morning I personally do but what I shared today really helps so yeah I will see you in my next video I love you